Don't make me sick, nigga. I adore. I gave you everything was mine is yours. I want you to live your life, of course. But I hope you get what you dying for. Be careful with me. Do you know what you do? Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, A. Marie. Doing a little bright ass, bad ass, bougie type of video for y'all. So if you're interested in this type of video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can become a part of the Deep 4 L click. So I spoke all over that because I have a full brow tutorial on my channel already if you guys would like to check that out it will be linked down below in the hot box but I'm just giving y'all like a mini tutorial on what you would see in the full detail tutorial of my brows so we're gonna go ahead and clean those up and I actually been loving how I've been doing my brows lately. Y'all know I can't do them the same every single day. But I've been loving this. So we're going to clean up the top with that same Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. We're going to clean it up on the top too. And then we're going to go in with a tad bit of Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep on top. To kind of blend it in some more so you won't get that halo eyebrow and y'all gonna see that in a minute but while we're doing that y'all let me know how y'all are feeling about these makeup tutorials I've been pushing out I want y'all to go ahead and click the notification bell and comment down below when you do become a part of the d gang so you will be mentioned in a in my next video your girl doing shout outs from now on so as you can tell I'm putting tape on my eyes and we're gonna go ahead and finish concealing our eyelids with that same Maybelline age rewind concealer and blend it out and we're gonna set it with a mixture of setting powders which is Ben 9 banana powder um, revolutions topaz powder and a little bit of Cody Air Spun Translucent Powder. I kind of mix all three of those up because it comes out, to me, the perfect shade. I don't know. Y'all be the judge of it. Let your girl know. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize because for some reason today when I was recording, my camera kept losing focus. So y'all going to see that throughout the video. But I tried to cut most of it out. So I do apologize. So yes, we're going to go ahead and kick this off with the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And we're going to start off with that yellow shade. And I'm going to get a little closer so y'all can see exactly what your girl is doing. Yes. We're going to use that yellow as a transition color. Oh, look how close I got. Look at that brow. Ooh, look at that brow. <laughs> yes, that brow is bomby. So we're going to use that yellow as a transition color, like I said, and you're going to build it up exactly the way you want it to look like. It's all up to your preference on what you want your brow to, I mean, your transition to look like. And I was going for a popping ash yellow, so I kept building it up. And I can honestly say I love this eye makeup. I did. I ended up loving this look. So next we're going to go in with my Morphe 3502 palette. And y'all, I've been killing this palette ever since I got it. And we're going to pick out that red shade that y'all are going to see here in just a second as my second transition shade. I think that color is really called Fire. I'm not quite for sure. I think it's called Fire, but it's the red shade in the palette. And we're going to use that as a second transition color but you're only gonna go halfway as you can tell I kind of stopped like right in the middle of my eyeball so you're gonna build it up once again to your preference 
I was looking for popping ass color so I build it up and build it up and build it up the way I wanted it to on top of blending yeah I gotta blend make sure you blend I'm telling you I had to learn the hard way so we're gonna go back in with that yellow um, eyeshadow just to clean back up and make sure everything goes in seamlessly yes and then we're gonna take that black shade and we're gonna go right in the crease but we're gonna just stop at the outer V you're just gonna pack it on no sweeping or nothing you're just gonna pack it on and then I'm gonna take a smaller taper blending brush and just blend that black out right in the same area that it is in I'm not gonna go high I'm not gonna go lower I'm just gonna stay right there and I got up really close so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about when I say stay right in that area stay right where you put it and we're just gonna blend some more so we can make sure that it's all blended together and look like a watercolor painting we went back in with that red just to blend it out that harsh edges. And next, we're going to get it to pop in. We're going to go in with the NYX White Base and this very blue Mayo Makeup Pigment. Yes. So, I want to show y'all how I cut my crease. And that's a little reason why you're going to see me cutting the crease a little longer than normal. Nobody really shows this. And I feel like cutting your crease can real life be a struggle. So I wanted to show y'all how I try to build my crease up to where I exactly want it and how long it actually takes to cut a crease. Like some of these YouTubers make it seem like it is so easy, but be, it's not. It is a struggle. Hear me? It's a struggle. So I'm going back in with that black shade and that smaller dome brush and I'm just popping that black right over where the concealer and the shadow met up so that you won't see the difference and we're gonna go in with that Maya makeup pigment y'all this pigment is so gorgeous I thought it was gonna come out more white than the bluish but once I got it on there and actually seen how beautiful that blue was on top of those colors oh my god y'all I fell in love with this look I'm telling y'all y'all let me know if y'all plan on recreating this look because i want y'all to tag me on my social medias which is always in the banner of my channel and is always down below in my hot box please if y'all recreate it i want to see yes god i want to see so we're gonna go in with those two shades it's a light gold and more of a bronzy gold i'm gonna mix the two colors and we're still in the morphe 3502 palette and we're just gonna pop that right on top of our brow bone we're not gonna take it too far down and we're not gonna take it too far in we're just gonna make your eyebrow bone pop okay you gotta make it pop and i didn't show y'all but y'all gonna see once i flip the script a little bit y'all gonna see that i'm gonna have an eyeliner i did use my nyx liquid liner to do my eyeline but i did not show it and i did go ahead and put the white in my waterline and go ahead and follow up on the bottom lash line and right now i'm mixing two of my becca foundations one is too dark and one is too light one of them is a full coverage the other one is a oil control foundation i forgot the names but they will be in the hot box everything in this video will be in the hot box but i always mix those two because i get a kat von d type of coverage when i mix the two and it comes out to the perfect freaking shade one is in tobacco and one is in sienna and oh my god i love to mix them as y'all can tell it looks so good on me and then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the new shade Caramel. The new shade Caramel. Listen, y'all. If y'all are my skin tone and y'all always use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and Cafe, listen to your girl when I say go pick up that Caramel, okay? Because that Caramel is just the right yellow and it still gives that flawless full coverage that the regular Fit Me was doing they just came out with better shades and caramel is the better shade for me and i love it 
I love caramel. So now we're gonna blend it out just a little bit and make sure you blend your concealer to death, like for real, blend it to death because it makes it look, look even more flawless when you blend the hell away. It looks so good. And then y'all gonna see me go in with my foundation sponge and catch the corners of my concealer just to blend it all together so you can't see where it starts and stop y'all see that right there boom bow 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 yes you see how it went away whoop whoop yes who ain't cute now we're going in with the fenty matchstick and espresso and y'all i love this one for contouring and i had also started doing the fenty matchstick in um mocha to do my nose contour just um to do my nose contour instead of using espresso and y'all it works so good it gives you that contour but it's not as harsh as espresso because you know espresso is way darker that mocha be right on point and if you don't have mocha and you want to try truffle do truffle too because it works just as well i'm telling you but everybody know I like to contour and I like my contour to look strong. I love that drag queenish type contour. Oh, yeah, I love it for some reason. Oh, I love it. And it makes your nose really, really, really snatch when you got a darker contour on your nose. Ooh, watch how my nose turn out. Watch. Look at that. Look at that. Girl, I look like Pierce Jackson. Who you playing? Michael Jackson got another kid that he don't know about, baby. Because I am his child by that nose. Who you telling? Now I'm going in with that same mixture of powders. And I'm just putting it on my highlighted areas. <coughs> Sorry. And y'all, I'm using a Sonia Kashik, uh new sponge that I found at Target and y'all I am so in love with that sponge that sponge is the best and it has it comes to a point and it goes really small it's really big in the middle but goes really small on each end oh y'all that is the best point to get up under your eye with I promise you now I'm gonna go in after I finish all this I'm gonna go in with my Sephora micro smooth face powder and I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face while dusting off this setting powder. Girl, look at the cheekbones. Girl, look at that cheekbone. Girl, I am smashed. Who going to pop me? Who going to tell me something different? I am smashed, boo. And I'm just dusting away that powder while also blending everything in together once again. I'm telling y'all the best tip to makeup is to blend. I don't care what you're blending. Blend it all. Blend it together. And then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder and mahogany and just bronze up my face. I never really contour with powder. I just basically bronze it up. And this mahogany color is the best that I have had so far. I love my queen collection ebony bronzer or whatever that was. But I have been obsessed with this. Now I'm going to set my face with my Pixie Mist and Set. Yes, I did go ahead and put my little wrap on my head so that I could keep that edge all clear away from that spray. Because y'all should know by now that Ghost Bond Glue ain't no joke when you get it wet, baby. Who you playing? That shit ball up like little booger snots across your forehead. So now I'm going in with my MAC Lip Liner and Night Moth, which I am obsessed with. I already did my highlighter, which I used my Beauty Bakeries Frozen. And now I'm going in with Beauty Bakeries uh, Chocolate for Breakfast Liquid Lipstick. And then I'm going to top it off with Beauty Bakeries Honey Liquid Lipstick. 
just to blend it out and I learned that from Taylor Made Jane. I'm not for sure if that's the same exact colors, but I did learn this from Taylor Made Jane. So I started doing it and I love it. Yes, Lord. Yes, I do. And there you have it, you guys. That is the completed look. I'm going to go ahead and shut up now and let y'all basking in the ambience of this great look and i hope y'all like comment and subscribe if y'all have any requests please comment down below and let your girl know and i hope to see y'all in the next video and do not forget once you do hit that notification bell go ahead and comment down below and let me know that you have become a part of the d4l game so that i can shout you out in the next video just like you're about to see at the end of this video i love you guys and don't forget to go check out my eyebrow tutorial I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Like the curry, Steph and Aisha shit But we more like Belly, Tommy and Keisha shit Gave you TLC, you wanna creep and shit Pulled out my whole heart